Mr. Rain says that it was like one of those things that it gradually happened to him. He said that it kind of progressed, but I didn't see that. I kind of just noticed one day out of nowhere, it kind of just popped up. A lot of my friends in conservatory had told me about it. I was like, no, there's no way, I've never heard it. And then one day at a meeting or something, he, he stuttered like a little bit on one word, and I was like, whoa. I noticed it, and I thought maybe he was like sick. I didn't really know what happened um, un up until he explained it to us. I noticed that it took him a while to say the students' names, and I thought that was weird. We didn't know necessarily if it was a stutter, but we felt like there was something wrong with whatever was going on, and that he wasn't really talking about it, because he wasn't really saying much at all. We were worried for his health. Like, we weren't concerned about, you know, why is he doing this? We were like, is he gonna be okay? At first he sat us down, and we were all kind of talking amongst ourselves. He got up, like all serious, and then he tried to, he tried to say it, but he had the stutter on, so he got really frustrated with himself. Some of you may have started noticing that I've had this stutter, and um, like it's just started developing. I didn't know what to say. No one knew what to say, sort of, because you can't be like, congratulations. Watching him suffer, like just standing right up there in front of everybody and just like not get through what he wanted, and I felt his like suffering. I'm like, oh, that just sucks. Before winter break, he was very eloquent when he spoke. He had that newscaster um, style of speaking. And um, now it was just like broken up by chops of just the stutter and it kind of freaked us out a little bit because he always, he had a very kind of booming voice. I think the best thing for us all to do is what we did that day was just like let him talk it out as long as it took him to say it. I think that was really important and I, I really admire him for standing up in front of the class and telling everyone because I know that was really hard for him to do and I admire him for doing that when he was talking to us, when he wasn't trying to hide it, when he was just like, I could see that it wasn't as bad, like he could do it. I started noticing that he would push the words out. When he went to therapy, they told him he had to like work through his stutter, so it got worse at first. I've seen a lot of progress. When he started to like, think about what he's gonna say first and then say it, I think I saw tiny, tiny improvements from then. He definitely has gone more vulnerable when, when you're on that subject or even just when he's talking because it, it's not something he can hide. If he had kept it to himself, he would probably not have progressed. But I'm glad he told us because it not only helped us like connect with him, but it also helped us like kind of kind of get like another dimension of the teacher. Him telling us was better than us gossiping about it, or because then it's rumors and rumors get blown up. And I think him just saying it straightforward was the best thing that he could have done. Some people may just view him as a teacher, but. I also view him as kind of a mentor. He's like a mentor, you know. I really see him as a mentor, like a, like a figure in my life that's really been impactful. And, and the main reason for that is because he's been so, so honest with us and so open with us. And I feel like he, out of anybody at this school, knows me the best. And I feel like now I know him a little bit better too.